Hey, what's up you guys? If you're gonna be towing a trailer with your Chevy Impala, you're gonna need trailer wiring. It's required by the law. So let's go ahead and break down that install for you. You'll need the tools seen here to complete your installation. So we're gonna be working in our trunk area. We're going to need to access our tail light harness, which is behind both of our side panels. So to start, we're going to remove our floor coverings. Next, we're going to remove our rear threshold panel. We're just gonna pull up on it. And that's held in by these clips down here. Now on the driver's side, we have two twist fasteners right here that we'll be removing. And these you can just unscrew by hand. Now towards the top right here, we have a push pin we'll need to remove and we'll use a trim panel removal tool. Now we're gonna go ahead and pull back on our paneling. Now inside our paneling, our tail light harness is gonna be right here. So we're gonna go ahead and disconnect it by pushing down on this tab. Now we're gonna take our yellow and brown wire T connector and we're gonna go ahead and plug it into our tail light harness. Right now we're gonna take our T connector with our green wire and we're gonna run it over to the passenger side and then we'll repeat that same process. All right, back on the driver's side, we're gonna go ahead and ground our white wire using our provided tap screw. We're gonna ground it right here on this metal right here. All right, now inside the trunk area, we're gonna pull out this grommet right here, and this is where we're gonna pull up our power wire. Now we're ready to run our power wire from our battery to our module box in the back. Our battery is located right here in the engine compartment on the driver's side. If you just pull up this panel right here. All right, we're gonna be using our U-Haul exclusive power wire. This has a protective film on it, and the fuse holder already connected to it. So we're going to attach it to our positive terminal right here. And that gives us our terminal that we'll be using. And we're gonna go ahead and remove that nut using a 10 millimeter socket. Now we're gonna to wanna to make sure that there's no fuse in our fuse holder. And then we'll go ahead and attach our terminal. And we'll close our cover. Now we're gonna to need to bring our wire down through the engine compartment underneath our vehicle. There's not a lot of room, but our best way is if we come down over here on the passenger side, we have brake lines that go down. So we'll bring our wire that way. Now underneath the vehicle, if you follow the brake lines underneath the passenger side, you should be able to see your wire coming out from the engine compartment. And we're gonna go ahead and just pull it down. Now that we have the power wire underneath the vehicle, we're gonna bring it up over this cross member right here. And then we're gonna follow these brake lines all the way to the back. And we're going to be using zip ties to secure our wire to the brake lines. Now we're gonna to continue to follow the brake lines up and around the tank right here. And we'll push it up above this tank. And then we'll go over this cross member. All right, now we're gonna be following the brake lines over towards the driver's side. All right, now we're gonna bring our wire over this cross member and through this brake line. So now we're gonna bring our wire over this bundle of wires right here. And we're gonna bring it around the heat shield. All right, now that we have our power wire towards the rear of our vehicle, we're gonna go ahead and bring it into our trunk area. I'll show you how that's done. Now we'll take our wire and we'll push it up towards that grommet. All right, now we're gonna take our power wire and we're gonna hook it up to the black wire on our module box. We're gonna be using a heat shrink butt connector. And we'll go ahead and start by crimping our butt connector. 
And now we'll use our butane torch to use the heat shrink. All right guys, with everything attached, let's go ahead and show you where you can store your four flat harness. Now if you'd like, you can leave it here in the trunk, just in the cargo area, and you can pull it out through the weather seal when you need to use it. Or you can bring it down towards your hitch and have it ready at all times. So we'll go ahead and show you how to do that. Now we're gonna take our four flat harness and we're gonna bring it down through that same grommet that we use for our power wire. All right, now that we're done with that grommet, we're gonna go ahead and reinstall it. Before we do so, we're gonna need to cut a slit through half of it for our wires to go into. Now we're gonna take our wires and we're gonna put it in that slit and then we'll reinstall our grommet. All right, now that we're done in our cargo area, we're gonna go ahead and take our converter box and just tuck it behind our panels and put everything back. Now that we have our four flat harness underneath our vehicle, let's go ahead and bring it towards our hitch. We're gonna go above our bumper bracket right here to avoid the exhaust. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and secure our four flat harness using a four flat mounting bracket. This is not included in our kit, but you can pick it up at your closest U-Haul center or at uhaul.com. Now we're gonna line it up and then we'll drill our first hole using a 3 16 drill bit. Next, we'll bring our screw into place, and then we'll go ahead and attach our mounting bracket, and then we'll drill our second hole. And then we'll tighten our screws using a 3 8 socket. Now we'll take our dust cover and put it onto our harness. And then we'll bring it into our bracket. All right, back in the engine compartment, we're gonna go ahead and locate our fuse holder. Now we're gonna take the cap off, and now we will insert the included 10 amp fuse. Now we're just gonna take our extra wire and tuck it in by the battery. And then we'll reattach our battery cover. So that wraps up our install. Thank you for watching our video. If you have any questions or need more information, you can visit our closest U-Haul Hitch Center, or you can visit us online at uhaulhitches.com. Thank you.